Another really cool feature in R19 is the addition of the new spherical camera. This spherical camera will allow you to export virtual reality images that can be played through a variety of different pieces of hardware um, and supported on YouTube's 360 degree viewer. And it's really simple to do. So all you need to do is just grab yourself a new camera, okay, and uh, center it out or put it in the center of your room or whatever it is you want to have in the VR and then put it somewhere about eye level that you think you know would work in your room let's and then under spherical tab of your camera okay you can see that there's this new one go to enable okay and that simply allows you to have a 360 degree view all the way around you can choose a variety of different options as to whether or not you can you know you want to go all the way around or you want to go all the way above and you can control that really easily with these sliders okay but once you've got your um, spherical camera enabled all you need to do is go up to your render settings and look at your output and you can choose uh, to put in a variety of different things. Now there are a few different settings that are available for you in the VR um, output, okay, and that's over here to do with the mapping. Okay, the most standard one that you need is uh, lat hyphen long, uh, latitude and longitude, and its recommended settings are 2000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Okay, so it's a, a two to one ratio. If you've got the cube map, then it is a 4 to 3 ratio. If you use cube map 3 by 2, then as suggested, it is a 3 to 2 ratio of pixels. And if you want to use a cube map or string, then it is a 6 to 1 ratio. Now, all of that information can be found in the help file for spherical camera anyway. So just make sure that it's on lat and long. Okay, and I've got my custom settings that I want look through the camera that you intend to be where sort of like your eye line is and then click render right and there we go we have our unfolded map there kind of looks like the old quicktime vr and panoramas that we used to be able to do but um much more configurable than it used to be and much easier to put together with that spherical camera well this is a great little feature update for r19 i hope it was useful and i will catch you in the next feature update video